Josh, that was a, a massive point at the end of 4-1 down to, to rescue it in the circumstances. It's just mind-blowing, isn't it? So, yeah, I know. It's a massive point, like you said. Um, we believed throughout and fought throughout, I thought, and uh, caught what we deserved at the end. Maybe if we kept the game at 3-1, honestly, felt like we would have nicked it and gone on it and, and won it. Um, we said that at half-time, but they got their goal. But we didn't stop believing, and uh, the fans went right with us to the end as well. I think the club got as a whole what they deserved. It's a special moment, really, isn't it? To sort of, yeah, to sit here thinking, yeah, you were believing it for one, and you, you made it happen. So, 100, percent we did make it happen. We made it happen. You know, no one was going to do it for us. It had to be us on the pitch. And uh, we did just just that. Everyone worked hard. Everyone grafted. Everyone showed character and belief. And we got what we deserved. And Tom Mack, special guy for his uh, his boyhood club. I'm, I'm really happy for him. Yeah, he's uh, probably living the dream, isn't he? You know, as he said. Home, you know, he scored in front of fans, home and away, in, in such massive circumstances, past the 90 minute mark. Well, it's a great story, isn't it, really? Yeah, no, nah, he must be on cloud nine right now, and I'm, I'm so happy and buzzing for him. Uh, for it to be him, I think it's just written, isn't it? It's just fitted in the stars, and uh, he will go down, I'm sure, for a very long time as a, as a big, big player at this point. You're obviously involved in a couple of the goals too. Obviously, the first one you got, you won the penalty. The ref didn't want to give it initially. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, talk us through that one. Yeah, you know, uh, the boss always says to me, you know, once I can, I can bully and make my presence felt up there. So um, once I got round him and got in front of him, I weren't looking to go down, but he took me down to be fair, and I looked up and the ref waved it away. But luckily, the line had done his job, and we got the we got the pen we deserved. So the game swung around at that point, but um, as you said, you know, even at 4-1 down, we kept believing you're involved in, in the third one too, weren't you? Uh, that sort of big header across and Lucas scrambles it in. And... Yeah, do you know what? It actually came off my chest, but I was saying to the boys in there, all the gym's paying off for the chest, you know. <laughs> um, nicely cushioned off the, off the gym chest. So, uh, yeah, no, I've um, had a few goal contributions now and, uh, yeah, it's, just, it's uh, hard work pays off, I guess. You enjoying that role too, sort of playing like sort of behind the striker. I mean, it seems like you're almost doing sometimes defensive work, really pressing the defenders and like winning the ball high and stuff like that. It really seems to be working nicely for you. Yeah, you know, uh, Gaffer called me yesterday and said that he thinks I'll be a big player today um, in terms of pressing up high and winning the ball back and all the style that they try to play. And he thinks that my style would um, would be big for us. And uh, I thought he was uh, he gave me a big encouragement. I thought he was right. So. Um, yeah, I'm enjoying it. It's growing on me. It's something that I'm still learning at. And, you know, when you get goals and assists, it gets like a, a reward off it. So it's a sense of like pride and that you're doing your part for your team. So, um, yeah, it feels good. But you know, playing for this team right now, it's, uh, it's quite special. Obviously, when that third goal goes in, you've still got a long time to, to kind of, you know, try and get back into it and stuff. And actually the clock was ticking down. They were being quite smart in how they were playing, keeping the ball off us. And, you know, we're probably all thinking, you know, a lot of effort being put in, but no rewards at the end of it. But that's some massive rewards this Easter off the back of two really some spirited and a lot of quality as well. Yeah, I think that's the thing we showed a lot of belief and spirit. I think uh, we put a lot of energy to get into 4-3. And I thought uh, we done well as a team just to calm down and relax and pick our moments. And uh, yeah, as you say, we got our, our rewards in the end. And uh, yeah, Tom Mack, a special guy, a special player. Been a, been a tough year for us generally and stuff. Obviously, we've had to for quite a long time. We've been knowing where we are in the table, trying to fight against relegation. It's not done yet, but we put ourselves in a position where the teams have basically got to win their games now, just full stop, and they've got to rely on us to lose. We can obviously finish the job now at Hull. We can put it within our, totally in our hands now. Yeah, was, this season was always going to be tough. From, from day one when you came in, you knew it was going to be a tough season. I think we all knew that. We were all prepared for that. Uh, we had some dark times, but we've we seemed to come through the other end, but the, the job's not done yet. We don't want to rely on other people. We want to finish it ourselves, and we don't have to say, oh, yeah, they did this and they did that, so we're up. We want to say we did it, well, like we have been doing, so hopefully can follow through this week and get the job done at, at Hull, and it can be another special away then. So obviously, lastly, yeah, going up to Hull, it's a short week in preparation for it, off the back of two over Easter, but um, yeah, I'm sure you know the minute. Team just want to get out there, and you know, and that's a great position to be in this stage of the season. Just look, loving football at the moment, like you are at the minute. Yeah, of course, just enjoying it so much. And I think we are together as a, as a team as well. So we put a lot in today, so we have to rest and recover first, and uh, regroup. And then I'm sure we'll, um, 
bring that fight and spirit on Saturday and I know the fans will come in their numbers like they have all season and be with us and hopefully at the end of it we'll come through the other side.